All right, we need to talk about something, and that something is fall fragrances. Is it too soon for fall fragrances? Of course it's too soon, but that doesn't mean we can't start getting excited now for one of the best seasons at Bath & Body Works. I think many people would agree with me when they say that fall at Bath & Body Works is the most magical time of the year. The season of autumn during the year is probably the season that has the most scent association with it. It's when everything is cozier, spicier, dessertier. I think fragrance just thrives during the season of fall. I wanted to share with you some things that I saw online that was getting me all excited for fall. You will see on the computer screen here that I'm actually on Tess's blog. If you don't know who Tess is, she's been doing Bath & Body Works insider scoops for pretty much ever. She's one of the original people who's been consistently giving us updates and previewing all of the new things that are going to be coming for the next season. Not only do I love looking at her Instagram and her blog for newness and information on what's to come at Bath & Body Works, but also since she's been doing it for so long, I love using her website especially to look at archives in some Bath & Body Works history whenever I have a question of when a scent came out um, and I can't find it on the bottle or I have some questions about a collection, I find that her previous posts from many years ago actually are very helpful. So if you're not following her on Instagram or if you've never seen her blog before, make sure you please do so and I am giving her credit right now. This is not pictures I've taken, but I am going to be reacting to it today and sharing a little bit of my own spin on some Bath & Body Works history from my perspective so that you can kind of learn about some of these products. I'll leave the links to her social media both in the card section above and in the description box below. I just want to make sure that's very clear that this is not my pictures, not my blog, this is just me reacting to it. So if I'm looking up over here, it's because I'm looking at the computer screen. You'll see this is Tess's blog right here. It's funny because I find that Tess gets her information even faster than I used to when I was working for the company because usually I was stuck on the sales floor and I didn't have a lot of time to kind of browse on the computer in the back room and get this information myself until it was pretty much time to execute the floor set. So maybe I would see some boxes come in of shipment and be like, oh, I guess this scent's coming back and stuff like that. But I find that she is actually even speedier than when I was an employee getting information. So that's also kind of like a perk to her blog. But as you can see here, this is her blog. It's actually the Instagram page that I saw this on. So we're gonna go to her Instagram here. And I could talk forever and ever about all the things I'd seen. So make sure you check it out. I'm only going to be talking about a couple of things that kind of sparked my interest. And it's mainly the body care actually. So this is kind of looking interesting here. You will see that we've got some new aromatherapy scents. This is called Meadow Walk or Renewing Meadow Walk. And it's really hard to see what the fragrance title is there, but from what I can decipher, I think this is Rose Magnolia. So we've got a floral looking aromatherapy. And then we've got this one over here is Relaxing Midnight Sky. And from what I can tell, I think that says chamomile patchouli. So it's not the same as Comfort Vanilla Patchouli or the Restful Moon, which was essentially vanilla patchouli, um, but something a little bit different. I think the chamomile will be an interesting blend to kind of tone it down. So that will be fun to see those ones. That's in the collection called Nature Walk. So I wanted to share that with you. That's pretty cool. Okay, we've got Faceted. I know that personally, I'm kind of sick of the Faceted collection. I think the bottles are beautiful, especially when they have them ombre like this. I just think it's really starting to get overdone and I would like to see something new. And I don't know about you, but my preference when it comes to packaging is I like to have pictures and lots of imagery going on and I appreciate that this is like kind of more aesthetic if you just have like one fragrance and you have it sitting like on a perfume tray this would probably be the better option but for me I like things to be a little more fun and exciting not necessarily aesthetic if that makes sense but here we've got some scents nothing we haven't seen already we've got black cherry merlot coming back to body care um, we've seen that come back multiple times and then we've got Fallen Bloom. So we saw all of that Fallen Bloom packaging going for a semi-annual sale. Well, guess what? It's coming back in a faceted bottle just for you. And then this is what I mainly wanted to talk about. This is extremely interesting to me. Leaves. We have not had body care in leaves in such a long time. In fact, a lot of people will probably think we've never had it in body care before, but I actually have a little history lesson for you of something that I had learned. So leaves is actually Bath & Body Works' number one best-selling fragrance for fall in the home fragrance department. It is the best-selling candle. So I'm kind of surprised that they haven't made this in a body care sooner. We have seen little inklings or suggestions that they might be 
because they started making it into hand soap again. I have noticed historically that if Bath & Body Works takes one of their home fragrance scents and turns it into a hand soap scent, there is going to be a higher probability that they will make that hand soap scent into a body care scent. So we were starting to see some Leaves hand soaps in the later years here. You'll see on the screen here, I'm on an Amazon page. I think it's just a reseller selling some bottles that they had in their back stock at home or something. But you'll see here, this is a very old bottle of Leaves Body Lotion. And this is actually from a collection that Bath & Body Works had called The Perfect Autumn. Look at the notes here. It says, autumnal notes of golden nectar, juicy mandarin, and red delicious apple paired with toasted cinnamon stick, mold spices, and freshly picked berries. So that sounds just like the notes of leaves nowadays. So here, oops, here I was so prepared. In more or less words, this is pretty much the same notes. It says there's crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. So that's pretty much what the other one said, except it was a little more descriptive about it. So I think that this is actually leaves' origin story. I think it's due time that it finally came back for body care. So I'm definitely excited to see it. Kind of disappointing to me that its revival bottle is in a faceted collection, not very cool. I think it deserved so much more considering how important of a fragrance it is. But hey, I'm happy to have it. And then your favorites are back. Speaking of packaging, now this packaging I do like. We've got lots of fragrances returning that we all know and love, and this includes champagne, apple, and honey. We've got full-size body care in all of the forms as well as some travel sizes and a lip gloss. So that's nice to see. And since a lot of these are returning fragrances, I wanted to give you kind of a blast of the past relook at some of their older versions. So I brought them out over here for you to see. This is the first time that Champagne, Apple, and Honey was ever released. And the year was 2016. So I know my shower gel is a little messy, but you can actually see that a little bit easier. So there we go, it actually had a little more of a purpley label. In 2016, they were still giving the little paragraph of like description of what it smells like besides just the notes. So this one says, bright leaves and blue skies, crisp air and orchard fresh fruit. Savor the season with the perfect autumn day. I love that. So the notes are pink lady apple, sparkling champagne, jasmine honey, boysenberry nectar, and autumn woods. Maybe if I kind of shade it like that, you can see it a little bit better, but I love the leaves and there's like some sparkle details on those leaves. Love this packaging, so cute. 2016, champagne, apple, and honey. This is what champagne, apple, and honey looked like a year later in 2017. And they each had kind of their own little sayings on the top, so this says, Apple of my eye, champagne, apple, and honey, and this is the body cream. And this collection was actually where they had used honey as one of the ingredients in all of the body care products. Same exact notes listed, but here it says, honey is all the buzz. It's our favorite fall ingredient. Known for its soothing qualities, we love honey in everything, from our tea to what we put on our skin. So that's kind of a fun little insight into what was going on during fall of 2017 at Bath & Body Works, lots of honey. All right, focusing your attention back to the screen, next up we have pumpkin pecan waffles is coming back. And this is interesting because I would have thought that this packaging style would fit better sweet cinnamon pumpkin, but I guess we won't be seeing that one till later or maybe not at all this fall. We haven't heard any word of the body care yet, so we'll just have to see. So pumpkin pecan waffles and body care actually does have a little bit of history as well. You might more recognize this packaging. This is only from 2021. So when they released this packaging of the body care, this was actually the first time that it had been released in a body care in a really long time. So it went through a long period of time where there was no body care and then finally it was brought back. And this is what they brought it back in. This one's notes are listed as maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. Love this scent. But before we had that one from 2021, let's rewind the clock all the way back to 2014. This is all I have left to prove that it ever existed and it's just this little hand cream. This is one of the first products I got myself and this actually lived in my backpack pretty much the entirety of my college career, at least every fall. And so this is a nourishing hand cream and it is pumpkin pecan waffles. They had kind of like a bake shop theme going on this year. And this actually smells different than the body care they released in 2021. I find that the 2021 pumpkin pecan waffles is more syrupy, pumpkin-y and a little more rich and kind of that baked smell. When I smell this one, it actually has a little bit more of like a tart apple and clove kind of scent to it, like maybe apple butter. Um, both smell really good though. And this one's pretty much empty. I haven't brought myself to throw this away yet. What I think is actually going to end up happening is I'm going to try and peel this off and put it in my little scent journal. I have kind of like a keepsake memory of the things I don't have the heart to throw away. But yeah, so we've got that in full size body cream, shower gel lotion, fine fragrance mist, and then we've got some travel sizes and a lip gloss. 
Sweater weather is back. I don't have any of that in my collection because it's not really a me scent, but that is nothing we haven't seen already. We've had that for a couple of years now. And then we have something different than sweater weather. We have together weather, which I don't know what that smells like and I'll be curious to see. At first I thought it was a repackage of sweater weather until I realized, oh, there's already a sweater weather. So this one looks like it could be maybe a little more feminine. It's got suggestion of like some kind of I guess they're colored leaves, but they almost look like tree blossoms from this um, kind of quality of picture. Um, but it's pinky looking, so I'm wondering if it's gonna be more on the feminine fall bloomed kind of side, or it could be similar to last year's Cuddle Weather where it had a little more of the spicy notes in it. So we'll find out, we don't get to know that yet. Ah uh, yes, and then we've got a classic one for us, my personal favorite, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, and I think it's in a very cute packaging this year. It's definitely more of a sophisticated packaging than I am used to seeing Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte in, um, but I'm looking forward to it. I think it's really pretty, and I can already smell it just thinking about it. So the history of Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, I believe its first occurrence was in 2014, and it actually had a little bit of a different name. Here is its 2014 ancestor. This is Pumpkin Latte, and marshmallow and it says comfort on it. And I have saved this fine fragrance mist. This one also lived in my backpack and I've used it quite a lot, um, but I've gone through multiple full size bottles of it as well. And to me, I feel like it smells the same as marshmallow pumpkin latte. I'm sure people disagree with that, but my nose doesn't really perceive any differences. So I just think it all smells super good. At the time when I had purchased this, I did also buy all of the full size body care. I had gotten shower gel, lotion, spray, and then I also got a sugar body scrub too. And unfortunately I've used all of those up and tossed them by now, except I did save a little something from the shower gel as a keepsake in my keepsake journal. So let me show you that. So I didn't have the heart to throw it away. So I made like a little scrapbook page for it. So let me get a little bit closer to here. So here you can see this was the label I peeled off from the shower gel. Once again, pumpkin latte and marshmallow and it's got like the picture of pumpkins and it says comfort there. And then down here, this was actually from the reverse side. It had like kind of a cable knit sweater. So this is actually sticky on this side because this was facing on to the inside of the bottle. Through the shower gel, you could actually see this like cable knit sweater pattern, which looked really cool. And then here I have just kind of like the little description in the notes, I'll read it to you. It says, signature collection, cuddle up around the warm glowing fire and enjoy cozy comfort of a creamy pumpkin latte and a toasted marshmallow. And then the fragrance notes listed are pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, white ginger and praline musk. And then here I just wrote like a little memory of when I remember buying it and using it in school and just kind of like a memory association with it. I was actually working at a coffee shop when I purchased this and so um, I just kind of wrote down a little memory I had of working at the coffee shop and smelling like this marshmallow pumpkin latte and then going to class afterwards and everyone thinking, oh, you smell so good from the coffee shop, but really it was my little secret. I was actually wearing the marshmallow pumpkin latte. So going forward a few years, this is what the packaging looked like for marshmallow pumpkin latte in 2019. This was one of my least favorite packagings that they've done for it. I regret not getting the chalkboard packaging because that one was so pretty, but I ended up with this one and a couple of other different ones along the way. I've emptied many bottles of this because this is like my tried and true fall scent. But just to demonstrate how the notes are a little bit different, this says pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallow, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. I think the only note that they excluded was the white ginger and I think it's still in there. They just aren't as descriptive on the bottle as they used to be, maybe because of space and just trying to narrow it down for whatever reason. I wish they would bring back all of the list of notes because it really gives you a good idea of what you're smelling. I hope you enjoyed this little sneak peek and reaction of some of the new fall body care that I had seen on Life Inside the Page. Like I said, don't forget to check her out if you don't already or keep checking her out because she's always posting what's going on at Bath & Body Works and is very insightful and helpful. Her links are below down in the description box and thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're excited for fall now. For a discussion question in the comment section, let me know what is the first fall fragrance you remember using from Bath & Body Works? Mine would have been the marshmallow pumpkin latte, or I suppose it would have been pumpkin latte and marshmallow. So I'll say that one is mine. Let me know yours below and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.